The CP Republic is brought to you by Smart and Talk and Text. And hello, welcome to the latest episode of the CP Republic. Ako si DR. And I have Jam. So, uh, yummy. Sensado, may mic kami. <laughs> may mic kami. May mic kami. And may background. May background. No. Yeah, this is not our new office. This is actually our hotel room. Oh, Dito sa... <laughs> For five days. This For is our five office days. For five days. Oh. <laughs> this is our, uh, our hotel room. And why why are we in a hotel room? Uh, um, we took a break last weekend kasi... Ano, uh, Oh, tuloy, tuloy tayo, no? Wala tayong pahinga, eh. Hindi tayo nagpahinga mga masyado, eh. So, we took, a, we took a break, pero kailangan namin humabol ngayon dahil ang daming, ano, daming kailangan na uh, pag-usapan. And, um, uh, we're here because uh, uh, ASUS Philippines uh, sent us to cover the Computex event that's gonna happen next uh, next week, no? Kasi I, Actually, I, for the both, uh, for the both of us, uh, for the I've both. I've been wanting to go to uh, Copitex ever since I've known Copitex. Mm-hmm. So I'm go someday. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna cover Copitex, and here we are. We're covering Copitex. Yeah, I've never. Uh, sabi ko kahit na delegate lang eh, pwede yeah, na eh. But yeah. no, we are going to cover it, and it's a challenge for us to to cover it because, um, although we're here to primarily cover uh, the. Uh, uh, events of ASUS, yes. pero we're we're going to try our best to cover yung mga ibang ano pa, yung mga product launches or booths ng mga ibang brands, no? So, uh, marami yan dito sa Computex, so yeah. we're gonna take advantage of it. And uh, kahit na nakakapagod and all, but this happens once a year and we don't know if we are able to, if we, if we have a chance to cover such event again. Uh, within the year, uh-huh. no, so uh, we're gonna make the most out of it. Uh, so and the uh, Computex talaga is one of the biggest events in uh compute sa te- sa computing sa technology, especially here in Asia. Yeah, here in Asia, especially... I believe this is the second biggest yata next to CES. I'm not sure, pero no, uh, I no that mas wala kami para ng Mobile World Congress sa Barcelona. Uh-huh. Compared sa, no. Uh, it's just that for ano, mga notebooks kasama and everything. Well, this time, hindi lang notebooks kasi we are expecting um, the next Zen phones. Oh, uh, yeah. You, you've seen the trailers. You've seen siguro yung uh, mga teasers ni Asus. And uh, obviously, meron tayong tatlong Zen phones na ilalabas. Uh, yes. You should check out the trailer. Yeah. So, uh, once once they are officially you know, launched and... Uh, uh, that will be our next episode. No, yeah. uh, we will we, we will be talking about those in our next episode. For the meantime, we're going to talk about the mga backlogs tayo na hindi pa natin pag-usapan. So we are going to talk to them, uh, talk about them right now. It's uh, 11:46 here in Taipei, pero you know, uh, this is our commitment to uh, to our viewers. May mga iba bastos. Wala kami wala wala kami bastos. Dali ko pa rin mga comments nila. <laughs> Pero sa mga walang sawang sumusuporta sa atin, ginagawa namin ito para sa inyo. And we're thankful that you keep on supporting us. Yeah. So, uh, ano, yung, yung unang sa balita natin is yung launch ng Vivo dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, well, actually, hindi Vivo yun. Ang, hindi Vivo yung ano, talaga phone. Kasi hindi ito yung unang phone nila na nilabas sa Pilipinas. Meron sila nung... Um, Entry level, Y5 ba yun? So, Pero ito talaga yung official launch na lang na. Yeah, ito yung talaga yung parang, talaga, hey, ito, ito, kami to, kami ang Vivo Philippines. Yeah, so ito nga yung official launch na lang. Well, yeah. <laughs> Kasi yung, when they iba yung announcement, pero that's not really a launch. Yung sa yung isang Vivo na... Entry nila. level, entry level. Yeah, pero ito talaga, they... It was, it was a launch. Oh, kasi they, parang they want to introduce the Filipinos kung sino ba talaga si Vivo. Yeah. And uh, they really made a mark dito sa Vivo V3 Max kasi interesting yung kanya specifications, yung hardware niya. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, um, well, the Vivo V3 Max is one of the first, I believe this is the first, I'm not sure, uh, smartphone sa Pilipinas available ngayon with Snapdragon 652 processor. Uh, 652 processor. I'd like to think that it is. Uh, I think it is. Eh. Uh, I, I believe it is. So, Kasi first time ko narinig yung 652, 
Wala naman ako ibang narinig na well, mga brands na gumagamit ng 6.2. Yeah. Pero wala pa, hindi pa officially launch. Yeah, Ito, yeah. officially launch. Ito, officially launch na. Available na the V3 Max. It's powered by 6.2 processor. So, how powerful it is? Sobrang powerful niya. Also, meron siyang 4 gigs of RAM. Although, yeah. hindi, although hindi siya yung pinakamataas ngayon kasi we have 6 gigs the Vivo X Play which is their flagship by the way pero wala sa, sa Pilipinas and hopefully dumating uh, pero 4 gigs of RAM is already enough eh. yeah. uh, yun eh 4, four gigs of uh, is y- y- you know, we, we, we talked about this before eh, because uh, some of us uh, some, of, some of our fellow uh, tech bloggers sina John of Unbox.ph uh, sina Mark of Tech Pinas yeah uh, they, they were able to attend the launch in the South Asia launch in India in Mumbai, and uh, so we we talked about it before. Pero iba yung experience natin ngayon eh. Uh, actually, to be honest with you, uh, to be honest with everyone, but this is boring. Yeah. Uh, what's what's new about the you know, What's new about uh, well, ang, ang mga surprise of pressure, okay? Uh-huh. Because this phone is worth six thousand sixteen thousand nine hundred uh, nine hundred ninety. Oh, and with with the specs of a uh, uh, of a Qualcomm six five two processor, oh. four gigs of RAM, thirty two gigs of internal storage. Uh, fingerprint scanner. Tayo, fingerprint scanner. Na mas oh. mabilis pa daw kaya sa ano. Which is actually parang halos parang lang yata sa Oppo. Hindi mo na mapapansin yung difference kasi mabilis lahat naman kasi ng ano eh. Uh, that, that is why they're, they're saying it's faster than faster. Oo, uh, faster. Even, oh, even yun nga, it's grammatically incorrect. no Pero that's what they're trying to emphasize. It is grammatic, grammatically incorrect. Pero say, everything about it, <laughs> but if everything about it is fast. Uh, well, kasi... Uh, to give uh, our viewers ko uh, an idea about the Snapdragon 652, faster than faster, kasi talagang mabilis yung 652, and sobrang satisfied ako. Kasi the 652 has the power of, uh, actually, hindi ko alam kung similar, or lower na konti, or more than pa, ng Snapdragon 808, the Qualcomm 80, Snapdragon 808, which was used sa LG G4. And, Ayaw mo na mag-tease. Gusto ko sa hands on natin. Hands on natin. Pero ito lang ang sasabi ko. The Snapdragon 652 is uh, sobrang beyond my expectations. Wala na overheating issues. That's the problem with the 808 and 810. Wala na yung mga issues na surrounding uh, sa mga Qualcomm processors with the 652. They fixed that. Although this is not the most powerful processor, pero I'm really, really satisfied with its performance. Oh, okay. That's no. nice. So, uh, yun yeah, um, the price is uh, no, interesting and uh, um, ano to eh, Asus Zenfone price na to eh. Uh, diba? And Asus Zenfone it would price, be interesting eh. if the Asus Zenfone 3 would have the same specifications in the Vivo Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna be interesting. Uh, and, uh, syempre, hindi pa pahig si Asus na ganito yung laban na natin. Kailangan mas mag, may edge si, uh, si Zenfone. Uh, Bilib talaga ko dito uh, kay Vivo eh. Uh, uh, we impression na sa atin doon sa civil war na... Yeah, the civil war. Uh, to be, uh, uh, FYI. Kung hindi, kung hindi pa kayo nakakapanood ng uh, Captain America 3 Civil War. <laughs> huli, sorry, huli, na <laughs> huli huli na kayo. So we're gonna spoil it for oh, you. So, spoiler. spoiler. Uh, daming ano, ang daming product placements ni Vivo sa movie. Uh, I mean, if, if, if previous movies would feature a Samsung phone once or twice... In a, in, in a couple of scenes at least, no? Ito si Vivo, ang daming beses ginamit ni Captain America, ginamit ni ni uh, ni, ni Agent Romanov, okay. at parating ginagamit ni, ano, ni Tony Stark. Uh, di ba? Si Tony Stark, parang yung mga transparent. Although, if mukhang, if whatever, super imposible na yung mga, ano, yung phone ni Tony Stark, pero uh, the branding is there. Eh. Uh, the, well, branding the branding is there. Is there. Uh, it's so, really magkano, kaya, magkano kaya yung product placement dito yung Vivo? Ano mo nakakatawa na? Kasi uh, it's really rare for a, for an unknown Asian brand sa Western market yeah. na lumabas sa Civil War. Nobody knows Vivo in the Western market. Kasi it's Chinese brand. Wala, walang, walang Vivo sa ano eh, sa America. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so, ang gandang ano. Pero ganda. now, di ba? In, to, They're making to, waves. To give you guys an idea, no? Vivo is actually overtaking Huawei right uh, now in China. Well, they have overtaken Huawei in China. Yeah, oh. so... 
Uh, we're gonna see more of Vivo. Uh, that's for sure. That's for sure. That's for well, sure. Well, uh, magiharam na rin ako ng unit. Tatingnan na natin kung oh, ano. And, uh, Tungan na kasi parang, ah, never mind. Pero parang, mm. okay, let's kasi, see. Kasi, because, alam mo, the price, the price, the price, the price talaga price, yung magdala. Eh. Siguro ko 20 or 21 yan. Yeah. Am, so, am, am I gonna be compelled to buy a 16,999 pesos phone na ganitin yung specs? I might. Yeah, no, I sobra. Might. Kasi, yeah. isipin mo, alam mo yung na-expect ko sa kanya? Yung ganyan specs, specs uh, price is 21,000? Yeah. Pero hindi eh. It's not. It's 69.90. Zenfone levels. Really interesting. Sana dumating na si Zenfone para syempre, boom, boom. Laman na yan. Yeah. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, that's uh, that's our story for uh, uh, for, the, for the Vivo uh, V3 Max that they launched uh, recently. And uh, what we have next is the um, the F- Cherry Mobile Flare X2. Flare okay. XL2. Oh, sorry. Flare XL2. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the launch. Uh, oh, so well, not really launch. Uh, it was just announced. The availability was just announced recently. So, uh, but we, we talked about the you know, Flare XL uh, Plus, right? Yep. Uh, well, Flare XL Plus. This one is different. This one but this was different. different because... The Flare XL Plus is simply, you know, uh, same, uh, same uh, 5.5 inch display, but this one is six. Okay, uh-huh. it's six inches. Uh, the Flare XL 2.0 is a six inch tablet. Now, uh, am I compelled to get this one? I might. I mean, uh, for 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 you know, for the common users, they might because a six inch uh, tablet uh, mura is uh, compelling to for them to watch. You know. To watch videos, to play games. Play games. It's diba? really... Oh, HD display nga lang siya, so... Yun lang, pero... Medyo, ano siya, baka mapansin niyo yung sa, pixels niya. Para sa akin, sana ginawa you know, full HD. Pero the price kasi... Oh, it's 6,000. The price is only 5,999. Eh. So, uh, siguro yung Cherry, who cares? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, alam mo ba, no, kasi meron ako na tayo, although hindi ko pa na ano. Yeah. Um, the Flare XL2 is not just large. Meron siyang premium build. Nakuha ko yung black. Oh. Yung side niya is metal. And then, uh, yung likod niya is parang rubber-like. Na hindi yung cheap rubber. Ano siya? Pre- parang premium mo siya pag hinahawakan. O, ang laki nga lang niya. Sobrang laki niya. Pero gusto ko yung, ano niya, gusto ko yung feel niya kahit malaki siya. Kasi parang premium smartphone yung dating niya. Parang premium tablet parang talaga. Parang premium ba? Oo. Oh. I haven't opened mine yet eh. Uh, Pinadalan din ako eh. Pero hindi ko pa napap, napapa na box. Yeah, so... Well, for sure that we're gonna discuss that in a future hands-on... Uh, in our uh, future hands-on that's review that's segment. Uh, pero, you know, the, the specs na, no, ng, uh, the Rare X 2.0... Uh, LTE. LTE pa. Yeah, so, LTE. so, for 6K... Same shape. lang, the uh, bomber nga lang, 2,500 mAh ng battery. Oh, so, maday to mo ubos. It's 753 processor niya. Eh. So it's similar to sa ginagamit sa Zen sa Zen. Sorry, sa Flare series, yung yeah. sa latest Flare 4, Flare S4. Uh, it's actually uh more powerful. Uh and ang biggest advantage niya is the support support for LTE nung uh processor niya, nung generation niya. Yeah. It's now available for uh, 5,899. Oh, Oh yeah, Marshmallow oh, pa. Marshmallow pa pala. Yeah, Not so, the latest one. Kasi Android N is still in development. So guys, please, don't ask for Android N sa smartphones. Marshmallow, guys. Maging content yeah. naman kayo. Marshmallow muna. Even yeah. the Nexus devices are still on. Oh, pero so, okay, okay. okay nga. Okay nga itong 5,999. Yeah, sulit siya actually. Sulit siya. Well, kasi kasi syempre tayo, gusto lang natin mas mataas pa na resolution. Pero not bad na ito. Pero not bad na ito. LTE, tapos premium build pa pala. Diba? Actually, yun ang dala sa akin. Kasi expect ko, plastic siguro. Really? Wow, well, hindi. <laughs> we really have to, ano, to uh, talk, discuss that sa future hands-on review. Yeah, really next week, next week, alam ano natin. Yung open, open. Yeah. Alright. Ano pa, ano? Last, last natin. Yeah, our our last, uh, last news, uh, although parang tayo wala doon. Oh, wala tayo. Uh, uh, Flash too. Alcatel Flash. The, the fla- uh, well, well, actually, you know, let's remove the Alcatel because Flash now is an independent brand. It's now an independent brand. Yes, it's an independent brand. But it's still under Alcatel or it's spin-off na talaga? Spin- uh, Alam mo na nga rito to si Alcatel na, na yung nakahilo na. Well, ang sabi ni Alcatel is, uh, 
hiwalay na sila company pero the market the R&D resources is still the same pero ang um, advantage no ngayon is yung marketing efforts uh, okay. mas makakapag-focus sa si Flash talaga sa Flash uh, and also yung campaigns yung product so are um, they just an online ano brand the parang si Cubics no, meron sila ano meron sila offline meron sila actually nag available so talaga spin off as oh my goodness a spin off within a spin off so pagkulong na actually in yeah in there okay okay just uh, ma- ano lang uh, brief history because i used to work for no i used to work for a telco. for a yes. telco company that used to distribute uh, alcatel when Alca- when uh, uh, alcatel kasi uh, french brand okay Ta- uh, uh, a, f- a few years after no a few years um, ago no a decade ago uh-huh. na binili siya ni TCL actually uh, no geto geto binenta ni Alcatel yung mobile phone uh, division niya uh-huh. at ang bumili no si TCL si TCL yung malaking TV maker ng China okay tapos yung natira naging Alcatel Lucent uh-huh. when you say Alcatel Lucent ito yung mga networks uh-huh. na to eh and si Nokia binili si Alcatel Lucent oh si Nokia oh si Nokia <laughs> binili niya si Alcatel Lucent okay <laughs> yan na iwanan na natin si Alcatel Lucent tapos binili ni Nokia so, ito naman si Alcatel na binili ni TCL, na part ng TCL, yeah. no? So, ayan na. So, uh, binuhay ni TCL si Alcatel. Ganyan, hindi na siya yung dating Alcatel. Ibang Alcatel naman to. Ayan nga, nanganak siya na, ano, ng, 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 nagkaroon siya ng brand ng Alcatel Flash na hindi ko maintindihan bakit binenta pa yung, ano, na bat, naging spin-off pa yung Flash. Oh, ay, wala sabi ng Flash pala. Ito pala. Oh. Flash. So, spin-off, ano, so, I mean, they have a branding na Alcatel Flash na sinabi, na sinasabi nila is, we're going to make this as a we're new going, brand. We're going to Flash. Oh, Alcatel <laughs> is separate. So, spin-off si Alcatel from Alcatel Lucent and spin-off naman si Flash from Alcatel. And then si Alcatel, <laughs> uh, meron pa rin silang ginagawa sa smartphones. Pero mm. si Flash is more on focus sa markets natin. Southeast Asian markets. Yeah. Which is mas maganda. Kasi we, since mas focus sa Southeast Asian markets, medyo uh, pare-parehas tayo. This is uh, no, really crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Sa, it's, well, it's becoming more saturated. Yeah. Well, sa, kay, sa side ng company, is medyo magulo talaga siya. Kasi sobrang gulo niya. Yeah. Pero for consumers, at least, uh, parang, they could benefit with that kasi since independent si Flash, makapag-focus si Flash, the marketing efforts and even yung mga gadgets nila, they are not just planning for to bring in smartphones. They are planning to bring smart accessories too. So, uh, Sino si Flash o si Alcatel? Si Flash. Kasi si Alcatel, ganun din eh. Well, ito naman si Flash talaga. Is, ang maganda nga dito is talagang nakafocus sa market natin. Sa Southeast Asian market. So... Pero well, magulo pa rin sila. So, we'll, we'll see about we'll that. See. We'll, see. We'll, we'll see about that. Magulo pa rin sila. Yun lang yung masasabi ko. Magulo pa rin sila. So, yeah, magulo talaga sila. Okay, na pagulo tayo. Uh, so, uh, anyway, <laughs> balik na tayo. Do so balik tayo sa, ba, balik uh, tayo sa Flash. So, anyway, ganyan yung story. Ano. So, ngayon, si Flash uh, si Flash 2. Flash Plus 2. Uh, uh, the Flash Plus 2 is, ano ba yung pinagmamalaki nila? Is met, not just, parang not just metal? Not just metal. Oh, well, yes. Metal build smartphone siya. Pero may plastic pa rin siya. Kasi, syempre, you need plastic for antennas. Right. Wala, ka, wala kang plastic, wala kang antennas. That's why si LG G5 meron coating. Kasi, yun yung parang nag sa kanya ng uh, signal and then bakal. So, yeah. yun yung reason. Lahat ng smartphones kailangan ng plastic kahit puno, puno siya ng bakal. Anyway, um, this one is already powered by the latest MediaTek processor. It's a MediaTek P10 processor, which is also found on the Elephone and also on the Oppo F1 Plus. Uh, we cannot say anything about its performance kasi wala tayo doon. Reg, wala ka doon? Wala tayo doon? Wala. Bahala kayo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, the display is 5.5. So, I mean, 5.5 is parang the norm na ngayon pagdating sa smartphones, di ba? Yeah. Oo. Uh, and uh, this smartphone comes in 2 gigs and 3 gigs. So, 2 gigs or 3, or 2 gigs or 3 gigs. Oh, pero 2 gigs pa lang, alam kong darating pala sa Pilipinas eh. Okay. Wala pa yung 3 gigs, wala pa tayong, uh, uh, ano sa 3 gigs? I don't know how they're gonna sell that. Uh, I mean, it's like selling a brand new model na you have to prove na 
and we are different from uh, from everybody else. Pero there's actually nothing different. I mean, nasa talaga kung bilis. Well, fingerprint scanner is one of its. Uh, Everybody Nobody. now has a fingerprint yeah. scanner. Of course. Lahat na, lahat of course. Na yun. Ultimo, si Cherry nga, nakakain ng fingerprint scanner na nga at lepon. Hindi nga. Sino ba yung pinakamunas fingerprint? My phone ba? O, alam ko ba yung sobrang mura na oh, elephone yata, elephone. Yung S4, elephone. Na wala po yung last na return rate. So, the elephone actually has a uh, smartphone with fingerprint sensor at 4,000, 5,000 pesos. Hindi nyo na kailangan na fingerprint scanner kasi sobrang pura na niya. So, uh, But anyway, well, if you really want to buy the Flash Plus 2, oh, um, <laughs> it's oh. available in Lazada. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know. Flash Tales! Um, okay, Flash. Flash Tales. Uh, <laughs> ang gulod nyo eh. Kasi parang, uh, sorry ha, kasi parang, Ang gulo naman ng pop ng ng spin off kayo and now you're independent a uh, new independent brand but you can always offer something new. Yeah, I know nakatutok na tayo sa region. Marami nang pero marami naman nakatutok sa region natin. Right. Eh. Well, sana so improve your brand. New? Sana we can hope for the best. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we can hope for the best but I'm being skeptical at this point uh-huh. because uh well you know we are, we are skeptical talaga because na uh, naging ano na tayo eh. i mean uh, there's so many brands yeah. and i don't know how you're gonna keep up uh diba anyway yeah uh, the price wala it's uh yeah, 6990 for the 2 gigs 3 gigs will be coming soon wala pa price ay right, well sabi ni unbox meron na daw price so makikinig tayo kay unbox kasi ayo kay unbox ang uh, kanya price is 8990 uh, 8490, I'm sorry. 8490 for the 3 gig. Hindi na lang kayo na. Maraming choices na isa sa flash. Wait, wait, wait. 3 gig, 8490. Well, that's not bad, isn't uh, it? Well, not bad. Pero, sa totoo lang, medyo problematic yung P10, the Helio processor. If Helio. You, ang pinaka-best lang na gamit ko na smartphone with Helio P10 na okay is the Oppo F1 Plus. Yeah. Medyo stable yung performance niya. So, doon ako naging satisfied talaga sa... We're, we're gonna... We're, uh, for sure, we're gonna... Review that soon. Uh, uh, and we're also going to uh, talk about a new Helio phone next week. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. kailangan talaga tayo mag, ano, magkaroon ng bagong, uh, bagong episode next week kasi hindi tayo pa rin mabahuli. But anyway, yeah, that's our that's our new segment for today. Um, you know... Uh, uh, we're both tired, pero we're still going to do one hands-on review segment. <laughs> <laughs> Typical pa- jump on uh, on uh, the Super Republic podcast. <laughs> talaga ano eh. Pero talaga kina na pinihinita ng wallpaper. Wala akong wallpaper kasi sa opisino ko eh. Anyway. Yung painting. Uh, hatihan mo ako sa bahay, gagawag ko ng wall, ano, wallpaper yung ano ko. Dikita mo na yung kartolina, pipintura ako. Ayos <laughs> oh, eh. Uh, Ay, hindi. Pag, uh, pag nagkaroon na tayo ng lighting, na yung talagang lighting natin, uh, ano, hindi pwede na tayo magdagay ng background. Yeah. Ang gusto mo. Sampas natin, Diba? Kung anong kulay ng gusto mo na background, bahala ka na. Mas ikaw na magdidesign mo. Oh, yeah. Lalagay natin si Jesse. Or si... Pwede. Nakatabi ko niyari si Jesse Mendiola na sa gitna. Oo, oh, oh, nakatingin sa... Oh, tatlong sa Jesse Mendiola! Pwede rin! <laughs> Three Jesse Mendiolas are better than one oh, Jesse Mendiola. Or si Doggy. Eh. Or si ano, kung sino man ang pwede rin. Oh, Doggy, sa kabilang show na yun. Hindi ko na sa kanila yun. Anyway, that's our, uh, no, that's our uh, hands-on review segment for... Uh, hands-on review to me. A new segment that is for, for tonight. Uh, before... Um, we're gonna have a uh, a new um, a new hazard review segment, and we're going to talk about the Huawei GR5. So um, we're gonna and we might be able to record another you know, hazard review segment tomorrow, and uh, we'll be featuring the Oppo F1 Plus. Na mentioned namin ni Jam kanina. So uh, that's it for uh, for for a new segment. And uh, please watch our hands-on review.